Hey, what's up guys? Earn the Worm here with another action figure review and today I'm going to be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Iron Man 2 Mark V armor. And this armor has always been one of my favorite armors. I loved the scene from Iron Man 2 and I really like the red and silver paint scheme on this. So I am thrilled that SH Figure Arts did a version because prior to this I had the Revoltec version which I actually sold to help buy this one. Now I recently reviewed the SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark II armor without its original packaging and this one has the same story as that one. It was actually an eBay seller selling them at decent price because he bought them and got the Hall of Armor pieces out and then was selling them for $60. Now anywhere else you try to buy this armor, it's around $100. But there's no packaging to show you so I will get the Iron Man and its accessories out and we will have a look at them. Okay, before we have a look at his accessories, I will tell you that this Iron Man figure stands almost six and a quarter inches tall, where most of the other releases stand right at about six inches. Okay, and for his accessories, you get pretty much the standard ones that come with all the Iron Man figures. You get these karate chopping high five hands. Psh. You get these open palm pepper pots butt grabbing hands. And you get the open palm hands with the pegs on them for the blast effects. You get your standard small blast effects. You get your larger blast effects, which on mine they got very sloppy with the white paint. And it just looks like they dunked them in it. Normally it's kind of a nice frost on it. Not these ones. It looks like icing on a cupcake. And you get your longer thin blast effects. And since this is the suitcase armor, he did come with a suitcase. So nice of them to throw that in along with the standard accessories you get with all of them. Okay, now on to the figure itself. Iron Man 2 was probably my favorite standalone Iron Man movie. And this was my favorite armor from the Iron Man movies. I think mostly because I just really like that collar scheme. I like all the separate plates to it. Just for some reason, always my favorite one. They did a really good job on this figure representing all those separate plates that make up this suitcase armor. Especially in the silver areas, like on the arms here, all those separate plates. These straps that go across the chest look really cool. Kind of get a feel for all the separate plates on the legs there. And on the back as well looks really good. Really love the way this looks. Lots of nice little details. The back of the legs even have some good detail. This Iron Man, like the other ones, has the die-cast feet on it. On articulation on this Mark V Iron Man, it's pretty standard. He will look up that far using the ball joint at the top and bottom of the neck. The shoulder pads are connected to the shoulder and on a hinge, which is a good thing. Then the arms are on a ball joint. They will notch out some. They will go up. They will go all the way around. You kind of have to watch this chest piece. It does stick out a little. He has that upper bicep swivel. Good double bend at the elbow. Wrist is on a ball joint. He has a ball joint at the upper and lower torso. And this is a floating piece in there. I guess to help hide gaps that you might get while articulating him. So he will go forward that much. He will go back that far, which isn't very far. And when articulating him, you have to watch because these floating plates do kind of get wedged in. So you have to get them lined up properly. His legs are on those SH Figure Arts joints that will drop down to allow for further kick forward, kick backwards. You can notch them back up to hide that gap. His upper thigh is on a ball joint and it will rock in and out and swivel. Good bend at the knee and it actually looks pretty decent with that pad on it. You have a small articulated plate at the back of the ankle so it doesn't hinder so much when you move the foot back. You can move the foot forward. And there is actually no pivot on this figure which is a little frustrating. And you do have toe articulation but mine is either so stiff it won't move or there's just not much movement to it. So the feet on this figure's articulation is a little disappointing. Good thing it's a beautiful figure and makes up for that fact. 
Okay, and before we wrap it up, I will show you the SH Figure Arts Mark V armor with the SH Figure Arts Mark III to the far right. Just to the left, the SH Figure Arts Mark II Iron Man armor. And to the far left is actually the Revoltech Iron Man Mark I armor. Look at what a pose. That was not easy to do either. But that is my look at the SH Figure Arts Mark V armor. One of my favorite movie armors so far. So I'm very happy that SH Figure Arts did a figure of it because they almost always manage to get it right. I can't wait to see more from them. I know they just announced the Midas armor and the Hot Rod armor. So I am looking forward to those. Hopefully they're not web exclusives. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.